And now we're going to be covering the Twitter drama, and it just seems to be getting that bit worse. Because, again, it's involving the Sony community. And I have to say, a lot of people have now come out in rally after I've been posting a lot of stuff to kind of call out the hypocrisy and the bullshit that's actually going on. But let's have a look. But as you know, this uh, tw uh, Twitter user, Andrea Pacinini, uh think of her what you want, right? It, it, it doesn't, I don't care. She is a full-on fangirl, um, and she pretty much gives as good as she gets. That's pretty much the story here. She will go at PlayStation fanboys just as they go at her, but it, she never gets personal. It's always about the games or about the corporations. And as far as console warring is concerned, that is fair game. But as you can see here, Andrea has been harassed since 2001, 2021, consistently and nonstop. That is more important than any game spoilers. But basically, after you see the comments that she received, she then turned around and released a bunch of Spider-Man spoilers, which PlayStation fans uh, went mental about. Now, as you can imagine, I'm never in favor of spoilers coming out, right? But these PlayStation fans were also the ones that were releasing Starfield spoilers, so the hypocrisy on its own is kind of real there. Uh, so someone actually made a fake account. If you actually see the full URL of this, it's not her account. And they took someone else's face uh, or someone else's picture and basically posted that this comment here, saying that this is a uh, know like a face reveal and saying i am not a woman i am a man even though she is uh claiming that she's a woman i've been using the percent of a woman to gather a following quickly i hope you're all okay with that love you all and this is something i read like ages ago and they even fooled me right but i didn't really care about it you know it is what it is alex on the other hand i think here has achieved a a mega l here right i think he should have taken this post down he did not uh, but look at the PlayStation fan saying there is no excuse for her to have posted Spider-Man spoilers. Come on, that didn't affect only people harassing her; it affected others as well. So did Starfield spoilers, but no one cared, right? Alex over here said you support her spoiling a video game. Put on your wig and nose, clown. Now, Alex is pretty special when it comes here because I think he's actually uh, missing the big picture. I think he's taken that salt train a little too far you can tell you're a toxic male gamer lady gets harassed and you just worried about spoilers if you don't want to see them just scroll past i don't condone being spiteful and spoiling other people's fun hype but i do support her being on her hit on here twitter for the most part the trouble is nuance is lost on social media with constricted posts and it's hard to write full context without everyone being tldr Alex, it's a video game. Spoiling video games equals years of harassment over the question of user's gender. Peter says he ain't an Xbox fanboy. He is an Xbox fanboy. He's never said he's not an Xbox fanboy. Uh, bro, it's just a video game. It is not that serious. Uh, she didn't spoil the game. Who the fuck cares about spoilers for a third Spider-Man game? You know, you're crying over spoilers still. This is beyond pathetic now. Adult man crying over video game spoiler and other adult men harassing women on Twitter because apparently they don't have one at home to take care of. But it actually does get worse, right? This actually gets a lot darker and a lot more uh, sinister. So as you can see here, Peter has pretty much been championing her defense. Uh, Andrea has pretty much gone into hiding at this point because she just can't take it. Uh, play, look at this PlayStation fan here. Someone should dox this B, and I'm not going to say that loud, uh, and maybe even, I mean, you can see it, right? Maybe even delete her save file too. Like, what the fudge is wrong with people? It's a video game. And you've got this over here, a woman, right? Another day, another episode of Ovo simping. He's not simping. Is trying to be there for someone in the community, but this woman, who is a woman, is advocating, you know, this, and and you know, deleting their save file. Like you can't make this shit up. It's really bad. 
I refuse to believe people are that angry over console wars. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really bad, right? It's really bad. He did eventually get his account banned, but it, it was a sock account. He's going to be back. And it actually gets worse, right? There's a couple of other posts by this guy and others as well where it actually gets worse. It actually gets really dark. And, I mean, this is dark enough, but it gets really bad. And she's been dealing with this for over two years, right? And when she's had enough, she posted some spoilers. Like, I get it. Posting spoilers is bad. It's not the answer. There's options to mute and block and report. But at some point, enough is enough. These same people didn't complain when Starfield spoilers were being posted left, right, and center. But these, these freaks of nature, and you know, what he's done here, or whatever this person is, this is a criminal offense. In the UK, you would actually go to prison for this. It's a criminal offense in the US as well. There's actually jail time for this sort of thing. It, it's really bad. And she's been dealing with this from PlayStation fans for years, right? It's not right. It's really not right. Um, like, here's another one. Uh, the Beast of Truth, right? I don't know how you feel about him. Um, I have my own thoughts. But regardless, PlayStation fans are creating um, user accounts for Snap Blast Play. And actually, uh, going over to underage children's accounts and trying to act like a pedo and get him put into jail. This is PlayStation fans doing this, right? This is sick. Like th that community is sick. Thankfully, there are some people that are actually calling this bullshit out from Camp Blue. Look at it. Uh, are we. Another fake account, uh, making her go after a 15 year old. It's bad. It's really bad. And then look at this, Korea 6, my interests, abduction of pubescent girls. Like, this is, <laughs> but it's sick, right? And as you can see, I posted this over here. Uh, so neutrals and PS fans, women included, are endorsing and supporting the behavior of Zorro the Great 88. And because Peter Ovo is standing up and doing something most of us are not, apparently it's him simping. You all make me effing sick. Now, this is the one that I, uh, I showed you uh, earlier, but this is like another one. I hope you get hard and your body is thrown off somewhere, you useless C word. And like, you know, now we're starting to see PlayStation fans actually come out. I, I'm a PS fanboy. Even I don't condone death threats. You know, it's just bad. Because of fanboys like the Red Dragon, J Dub City, I'm a little, well, hyped, unleashed, Dreamcast guy, Reforged Gaming, all support and condone actions like this because they hate a piece of plastic. And I think that's where it is, right? That's where it is. You've got these major accounts here who condone this stuff, who support it, who egg it on. Like even uh, the Red Dragon, when the Latinos and the Latinas were coming out and saying, we don't like this, we are finding this offensive. He came out and was mocking them. He was actively mocking them and saying Bungie were right to do what they did. They are really just really screwed up. And I really feel sorry for the ones that are genuinely good at Camp PlayStation, because there are some really nice fans over there who you can actually have a really nice conversation with. But when you've got these ones over here, the worst of the worst, endorsing this sort of behavior, because that is what they're doing, right? Not one of them have come out. Not one has come out and said what he did was wrong. Not one. They've all stayed silent. They've all agreed. They've all supported it. They've all defended it. It's shit and it needs to stop but this was the drama that was going on i, I do feel for andrea regardless of uh what she, what she posts or whatever she never attacks people never attacks people she just attacks the corporation or the games and that is fair playing console warring but 
this has gone too far. And the fact that she's been living with this for two years, and then you've got someone like Peter standing up and trying to defend her, and then the first thing that PlayStation fans are saying, you're just trying to get into her knickers or into her boxers because they're still misgendering her by calling her a man. That's their response. You let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'd really like you to share this video because people who are supporting this, defending this, like the ones down here, you know, uh, Hyped, Unleashed, Dreamcast Guy, Reforge Gaming, Red Dragon, JW City, who haven't actually come out and said one thing about this and they are fully aware of this, should be goddamn ashamed of themselves. Well, that's the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. We do have other videos coming along. I will probably try and increase the velocity of video uploads. I'm going to try and maybe get like two video uploads a day, one in the morning, one in the late evening, um, and see how that works. And yeah, because there's a bunch of content that I want to get out, including like Starfield news. And uh, I want to talk about Game Pass, especially with the release of Forza Motorsport and my force behind that. So there's uh, lots of content coming. So hopefully you'll enjoy that too. Do, leave, do consider leaving a like. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah,